So I had a few people ask me how to assemble this thing once it's printed. Uh, this is for the people that bought on the Colts 3D. They bought the STLs for this. So first off, I'm gonna start by disassembling the top portion of it. So what I'm gonna do is pull this apart real quick. I'm doing this one-handed, so bear with me. All right, so we have that up. I'm gonna take each one of these screws out. There's a bunch of them. I'll cut to the chase quick and show you. These two are fused together. This is the bottom piece right here. Let me show you. All right, so now that we have all the screws out of it right here, this is just separates right in. And there's a chopper and the motor. We'll get into more detail with that really quickly. I'll just bring it over here. So this is gonna be the skateboard bearing. Uh, everything's ready to go. Once you print this, you just pop that right in and push fits right in and it should stay in place without a problem. I don't glue that or anything like that. Just so it's free, it's ready to go. All right, all right. So this is the eight millimeter rod that you're gonna have to cut. You're gonna have to like custom cut fit it. I, I can measure that out and just let you guys know how much that is. But it's again, I think it's eight millimeters. I, I did notate it in there. So when I separate these two, they come right apart and you can see that's the little coupling that goes on there. It just screws on with a little Allen key right there onto the motor itself, all right? So the motor just basically, I'm not gonna disassemble this, but that you get the idea, this just comes out, this little Allen key nut, this piece comes off and you can see the motor screw down and basically it's just push fits in, okay? and stays in place with those two screws that are on top. So you can see that portion of it has that little bevel in there that just fits right over there. The chopper goes over the top, okay? So now that we're done with the motor, so I'm not gonna disassemble all these wires and unplug all these wires right now, but you can see inside there, I have everything kind of like just so you could uh, you could easily disconnect everything, all right? But I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna try my best to show you guys how this works. This comes up, this piece right here, without hopefully breaking the wires inside. But you can see all the wires right there. Actually, I'll just disconnect it just to show you guys real quick. So I disconnect each one of these wires. Actually, that just came off completely, so now I'm screwed. <laughs> this comes off. This guy comes off. I go back in here and do these wires again. And I just kind of push fit them together just to get it together. But the way the box works, as you see, this is the top print. Has like the beveled outline right here. Lift, a little lifted. All right. This piece I didn't include in there, but I will include it now. It's just kind of a 3D printed screw that fits on here. Just to keep, when this pushes down, to keep the the whole gear in place. I don't know if you guys can see that instead of it just free spinning the way it is. So this piece right here comes up and that's the piece, that one piece that you see in there with the little, again, beveled insert right there for this, okay? This piece here comes up as you can see and that's just your gear and your little gear here. This is just a Another piece that I did include in there, I should have included it. Let me know if I haven't, I'll put it in there. It's just a little piece to just create a little bit of a little smoother. It's not really needed, but I, I just did it just to lift a little bit. And right here, I gotta get a new one of these because mine broke. This is a slip ring, as you guys could see. It just keeps the wires in place so they don't snap. And uh, you can make your own or you can order one of these. They're like 25 bucks probably. And this is a 12 wire, I believe. And the way I have the motor mounted is a little tricky. Uh, I didn't perfect it in here. So you gotta kind of line up the holes and screw them. I don't know if you guys could see. I put four screws in there, little screws. I don't know if you guys could see that little gear. It just pops right on. That gear should slip on without a problem. I did have to drill this out. I don't know whether or not I did it in the design or not, but I did have to drill out where I want the wires to go. So the slip ring is right in between here and all the wiring just comes straight down. What I did is I got one of these pieces of wire here. I forget what they call this, but it basically has, uh, let me show you. I kind of had to solder everything together, but it has one of these that'll just fit right into the box itself. Uh, but I just wired it together. As you can see, I got some extra wires and it's all labeled six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know if you see it, but uh, basically this piece by itself, just so you guys can see how this is assembled. I got this piece off, okay? This piece that's on the outside, see this is the bottom half of the box. As you can see, this is the side, of course. And then right here is a separate piece. So this kind of 
you don't, without the box, it'll just be this piece, which is all one piece, okay? And then you can add the sides later as you choose. I did use a piece of, uh, what is this? Uh, I think this is inch and a half or one inch plumbing. I can't really see, but yeah, I believe this is inch and a half plumbing, but you, just, you could just do normal PVC like this or, or another choice that you have. And that's basically it. Uh, as for this, I kind of just fit these on, as you could see. If, if, but everything's just kind of tucked away. The solenoids, they go in. They're a little tricky to get in, but I don't know if you guys could see them up here, but you saw the solenoids. But that's basically it. Again, this just, once you have this on, you put this piece on, it's nice and secure, and you know you ain't gonna go anywhere. You fit this right over the top, and then just put it up in. I had to re-screw some of these holes depending on what you guys want to use for, uh, you know, to secure it, what kind of screws you want to use. I use these. I do have a different idea uh, where I'm going to use uh, the ones that, like, kind of solder in as nuts so it's a little cleaner looking. But there's a couple more screws I got to pick up to play around with. But if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Uh, I still haven't included the lid for this yet because I'm not done with it yet. But... Uh, once I finish this lid for this thing, I'll let you know. I'm kind of playing around with the wiring, still trying to figure it out. But I'm trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to use to switches. These work pretty well. But, alright, uh, I'll keep you guys up to date. Thank you.